Hi, I'm here to pick up a prescription. Hi, I'm Enrica. I can help you with that. I'm the pharmacist intern. Um, can I have your name and date of birth? Rebecca Padre, July 1st, 1984. Okay, and it's for you, I assume? Okay, just one moment. Let me grab it. Okay, Ms. Padre, I have your medication here. Um, I, with new medications, I typically like to spend some time talking to the patient to make sure you know how to use this medication safely and effectively. Would you mind joining me for about five minutes at the table? Um, I'm really not in the mood to talk right now. Not in the mood to talk right now? Well, if I promise to make it as brief as possible, could you just give me just a couple minutes of your time? Yeah, if okay. that's the only way to get my medication, then fine. Okay, so... Um, I just want to verify some profile information really quickly. Um, do you still stay on Myrtle Avenue? Okay. Is your phone number still ending at 1209? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you already verified your date of birth. Uh, no allergies to any medication? Mm -hmm. Are you currently taking anything, uh, birth control, multivitamins, or any other medications? No. Um, anything over the counter like ibuprofen, Tylenol, or Aleve? Okay, great. Um, so the doctor sent over a medication. It's called Lexapro. The generic name is escitalopram. It's a 10 milligram tablet. Um, with this medication, he wants you to take one tablet once a day at the same time every day. Um, what did he tell you to expect from this medication? What was the reason for it? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, my mom just passed away two weeks ago from a car accident. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you. I'm just having a hard time with that. So maybe just using this medication to help you through your hard time and, and you having some depressed mood? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's okay. Um, you're young and, and some things happen like that and they send us through um, maybe a, a saddened time. So I'm really sorry for your loss and Thank this you. medication should um, start to help you out. Okay? okay. Help you to feeling better. Um, it takes one week for it actually to start working and, and making you feel better, okay? okay? So you'll start to see mood changes in about a week. Okay. But the biggest thing, even though um, it takes a week, I don't want you to stop taking it just suddenly, okay? Um, because it can cause withdrawal symptoms, like you'll start feeling shaky, like if you were going through alcohol withdrawal, okay? Um, so with this medication, I want you to store it in a cool and dry environment, um, not in the kitchen not in the restroom and not in the car, okay. um, and try to keep it away from children. Um, it does have a childproof um, cap on it. If you miss a dose of this medication, take it as soon as you remember, um, just as long as it hasn't been past 12 hours, okay. okay? And you have currently two refills remaining on this medication, okay? Would you like for us to place you on automatic refill so that um, you don't have to remember when to call us? Sure. Okay, um, when you get down to about four or five pills, the automatic refill will go ahead and fill the medication for you, and you'll get a call from us that says that it's ready to be picked up. Thank you. And of course, I'll be here and available for you if you wanna talk and just talk about life and how things are going with, um, with your situation, okay? Thank you. Um, I've covered a lot. Would you mind um, telling me what you remember about how to take your medication? Um, take one a day and um, don't stop taking it suddenly. Yes. and keep it in a cool, dry place. Yes, absolutely perfect. You have a great memory. And just remember that same time every day okay. because it, um, it goes through the system and so we wanna get it in at the same time every okay. day, okay? okay. Um, some of the side effects that I wanna make you aware of, um, they're not necessarily gonna happen for everyone, but I need you to be aware of them in case they should occur for you. Okay. Um, some patients experience headache. Okay. Um, some people have trouble sleeping when taking this medication and it can make some people drowsy as well. Okay. Okay. Um, there are two big things that I want to talk to you about. One of them is called serotonin syndrome. Okay. And it's a big fancy word for you're getting too much of the good stuff. Okay. okay? Um, with this, you start to feel like you're shaking a little bit. You may have a little bit of agitation. You may have some um, abnormal visions or thoughts. Okay. Um, but the biggest thing, especially for um, individuals in your age range is thoughts of suicide. Um, have you ever had any thoughts of suicide? Okay, that's good. Um, and the research shows that on, most likely people who have had thoughts before will be more than likely to respond in that way with this medication. Okay. But if any of these side effects should occur, please give me a call, okay. contact your doctor immediately. Okay. Are there any questions or concerns you have for me? Okay, just to summarize, you have escitalopram, it's 10 milligrams at the same time every day.